Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's that time again. We've had update three come out today for Wreckfest. It's another car pack and this time it's called Backwoods Bangers. Just like the last car update, all we're receiving here is actually three cars. You get one special and two cars from specific categories within the game. Now we were told originally that we're gonna be receiving 20 total cars um, via DLC and also 20 customization items. Now the 20 customization items all came out last month. We got them all in one go. So I'm guessing from now on, we're just gonna be getting a monthly update with the three cars each time. But at the moment, I can't actually find any information whatsoever on when they're gonna be dropping. So just keep your eyes peeled here on the channel because as soon as they drop, I will be announcing them and doing videos just like this, explaining exactly what you're getting in each pack. Also, let's not forget that they did say there was gonna be free additional content on top of the DLC which I really have my fingers crossed is gonna include new tracks because we haven't seen anything like that so far. But hopefully some information will come to light soon. And as soon as it does, uh, trust me, I'll be there and I'll give you the information when I know it. But let's get back to this DLC and what you're actually getting. So like I say, Backwards Bangers itself has three cars. The special car that we have received this time around is actually a toilet on wheels, which is no real surprise uh, considering what we've had in the past from this game. Having played with these update cars now for a few hours, I can say this toilet on wheels is basically exactly the same as the lawnmower and also the bumper car we got in the last update. They're all very top heavy. If you're not careful around the corners, you're gonna tip over and they're not very strong at all either. So yeah, don't expect to take too much damage before you're wrecked. Interestingly enough, whenever I went into a custom game, it automatically wanted to put it with the three wheeler, the Robin Reliant cars um, that are already in the game. And they do seem to be quite a good match for one another. Equally, it's very good against the sofas and obviously the lawn mowers and the bumper cars as well. So they seem to be the cars you gravitate towards as soon as you put this up against anything else, you really do struggle just to complete the race uh, without being wrecked. So the best thing you can do really with this car is actually just avoid as much contact as possible and hope you last out um, into first place and everyone else crashes around you. Next up, you've got the Outlaw, which is an A-class vehicle. Now this thing is good for acceleration, top speed and cornering, but its weakness is definitely its strength as well. So again, with this one, don't expect to take too much damage or dish too much damage out but for an out and out race, it's a great vehicle. Obviously you can customize this as much as you want and give it that extra strength, but you are gonna lose a bit of top speed and agility. And lastly, the third car you're gonna get is the Hornet. Now this is a B-class vehicle and it's a good all-rounder and it's definitely my favorite car from the pack. A little bit like the Beetle was from the last one as well. I just seem to gravitate towards these cars that do a bit of everything. They don't excel at anything particularly, but you know you're gonna survive a race. You can also dish a bit of damage and you're gonna have a bit of fun in the corners as well. Just like the last car update, these are all completely free to anyone that has the DLC. You don't have to use in-game currency to actually buy the vehicles. So as soon as you log in, they are available for you to use. On top of that, some of the vehicle tuning and customization items are also free to use straight from the start. So make sure you go through the menus and see what you can adjust uh, without spending a penny. But equally, if you do want to customize these all the way up to their maximum settings, you are able to do that as soon as you drop into the game. All in all, this backwards banger car pack is pretty good and there's a nice diverse selection of cars in there. And for me at least, any game that I really enjoy, additional content is always welcome. So make sure if you've got a season pass, you jump straight on and download this. You might as well, it's all part of the package and uh, I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of these cars. Now I've been playing a lot of this this morning since this update came out and to be honest, I hadn't played it for about a week. And it's really nice having this DLC to bring you back to the game and just appreciate how much you really enjoy it all over again. On top of that, after playing Grid for the last week, it was really nice to just come back to this and actually have a decent online race against people that actually wanted to race rather than just uh, completely destroy you at every opportunity, which seems strange, I know, considering the type of game this is. But honestly, the online is still working so well. I had no issues going into a lobby. It seems like this game is still loved by a lot of people out there, which is great to see. Which brings me to my question. If you guys are still loving this game, what cars would you like to see in the upcoming DLC packs? Now we've got a few little special vehicles within the game now, all acting very similar to one another. 
But personally, I would love to see some big heavy stuff come in so that we can take on the likes of the Harvester and the bus and things like that. So whatever your thoughts, just use that comment section down below to let us all know exactly what you would like to see in the upcoming DLC for this game. Now just like the last DLC video I did for Wreckfest, all I'm going to do now is actually leave you with an event from me messing around with the game this morning. I'll be using the Hornet because like I said earlier it's definitely my favourite car from within the game and I'll be up against other B-Class vehicles as well. So stay till the end if you want to see how that goes. If you don't, that's absolutely fine by me, but I do just want to say thanks ever so much for coming by the channel. Make sure if you haven't done so already, you subscribe and also use that like button if you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Have a great day, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all on the next one.